This is a case study about uh, our previous lecture about the pituitary gland um, to learn how to interpret the result of the uh, different hormone. A 26-year-old woman attending the clinic, uh, she has uh, galactoria for several months. And uh, when we took the past medical history, she only has migraine. She took a medication. She didn't exactly remember its name. On examination, it was possible to express the milk from her breast. This is the only abnormality that is found during examination. When we do a hormonal analysis, the only abnormality that was found is that the level of prolactin in her blood was very high, about 1,000. 200 milli units per liter, while the reference value uh, normally is less than uh, 500 milli units per liter. Uh, the question is, uh, what is the cause of galactoria in this patient? Uh, galactoria uh, have many causes that cause uh, abnormal increase in prolactin level, maybe uh, prolactin secreting uh, pituitary adenoma or a tumor in general or it may be secondary to a certain uh, drug. In this patient, uh, the cause was uh, she was taking a medication, which is a combination of uh, paracetol and, and, uh, and metaclopramide, which is an anti-emetic medication. And uh, metaclopramide is a well-known drug that causes uh, anti-dopaminergic activity. It has an anti-dopaminergic activity. And we know that the inhibition or the control of the hypothalamus over the prolactin secretion from the pituitary is inhibitory. Dopamine from the hypothalamus inhibit the release of prolactin. So if the patient is taking any medication that uh, inhibit dopamine, so the inhibitory control over the secretion of prolactin will be lost and the patient will have excess of the uh, excessive prolactin secretion, as in this case. Uh, after the patient stopped him the, the preparation uh, that contained the, this combination of uh, metaclopramide and paracetol, the uh, galactoria resolved and the prolactin level returned to normal. This is another case study uh, in which a 56 years old man visits his uh, physician because he complained of excessive sweating and uh, his physician knew him for uh, many years and he notes that uh, his facial feature uh, became coarser uh, than before. And uh, by questioning this patient, he have also, also um, uh, uh, had to buy a new shoes because the old one uh, becoming tight so it means that there is uh, enlargement of the soft tissue in the face and also in the uh, feet and in addition he have infertility problems over the past few months by examination he found that his blood pressure is elevated and by urine dipstick he found that he have a glucose a urea and he thought that he may have diabetes and he referred him to the endocrine a clinic. Also, he take a blood sample uh, at the 9 a.m. to uh, measure a certain analyte and uh, the result was as follow. The uh, cortisol slightly elevated. The uh, normal uh, is up to 565 nanomol per liter and his result was 625. 3T4 uh, is uh, 18 uh, picamol per liter while the normal is up to 21. The TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone, was 1.3. The normal is uh, between 0.2 to 4.5 milli units per liter. Testosterone is low. It was uh, 7, while the normal uh, is between 10 to 30 nanomol per liter. The luteinizing hormone was 1.1. The normal is 1.5 to 9 uh, units per liter, it is low, LH is low, the testosterone is low, LH is low, and the FSH also uh, is low, it is 1.4, while the normal is 1.5 to 9 units per liter, the prolactin was also elevated, the uh, result of the patient was 960, and the normal was less than 500 milli units per liter. So the main abnormality 
is the testosterone is low the gonadotropin uh, also are low prolactin is high and the thyroid function test uh, is normal and cortisol slightly insignificantly is elevated uh, since the patient have uh, increase in the uh, coarser or coarser facial feature and tightening of uh, or enlargement of his uh, feet and he has sweating he have glucose urea or, and he have hypertension the, pa the uh, physician suggests that he have uh, excessive growth hormone so he uh, performed the uh, oral glucose tolerance test to induce hyperglycemia as a dynamic test to suppress the level of growth hormone and uh, at time zero the growth hormone before starting the test was 8.4 and by giving him uh, the bolus do dose of uh, glucose to induce hyperglycemia and the measurement of uh, the sample for a glucose blood sample for a glucose and growth hormone was performed at uh, 30 minutes 60 90 and 120 minutes we found that during this period of induction of hyperglycemia the blood glucose became uh, elevated and the growth hormone is not suppressed is not suppressed to a significant level after induction of hyperglycemia so collectively the gonadotropin are low and the testosterone is low growth hormone is high and it is not suppressed by uh, induction of hyperglycemia during this test the glucose tolerance test and the prolactin is high uh, testing the visual uh, field uh, showed that it was normal and the scanning by uh, for the brain by uh, magnetic resonance imaging the MRI scan showed that there is uh, there was a small adenoma uh, and it is within the pituitary so the patient have a pituitary adenoma so uh, the diagnosis mainly is uh, to confirm that the patient have acromegaly and this is confirmed by the lack of suppression of growth hormone during the uh, induction of hyperglycemia by the oral glucose tolerance test also the oral glucose tolerance test show that the patient have diabetes and this is secondary uh, to the growth hormone as it have an uh, hyperglycemic effect a diabetogenic effect and the uh, both because both the gonadotropin and the testosterone were low this confirmed that the uh, defect that caused this abnormality is within the pituitary gland secondary secondary rather than in the uh, gonad or the uh, testis itself the cause of increase in the prolactin is that some of the growth hormone some of the pituitary adenoma that secrete excessive amount of uh, growth hormone also secrete uh, excessive amount of prolactin or the other the explanation of the increase in the level of prolactin is that the uh, uh, this uh, prolactin may inhibit the, the prolactin adenoma may inhibit the uh, inhibitory control or interfere with the inhibitory control of prolactin secretion by dopamine from the hypothalamus thank you